What's up guys? It's Diera. I'm back with another video and today we're vlogging. I want to start out by saying thank you guys so much for helping me surpass 16k. If you're new here, please join the fam. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell while you're at it. Also, as many of you may know, I started my online business just at the end of 2020 and I'm so excited to say that we are still up and running. You guys can shop Wally Written every single day of the week. As of right now, I have gone and launched digital downloads and that makes me so elated because one, not only is it more sustainable, but it's also cutting down on shipping expenses and shipping supplies and just overall something that I think is the future. And so I'm just trying to really do things that feel true for me. So you guys head on over to wildlywritten.com. Check out the new digital download. You can still shop journals as well as sticky notes and stickers as well. But yeah, that's just a mini little update. Let's hop on into today's video. And I want to start off by talking about this idea of seeing where things go. I have been on this journey I want to say since I started my career as a flight attendant, I took a leap of faith, decided to move all the way across the country, and I just said, let's see where things go. February has really just been a continuation for me of seeing where things go in all aspects of my life. February has also been a very challenging month because this year Mercury retrograde fell on January, I want to say 30th to February 21st. and boy oh boy did it challenge me i have been constantly in this place of just trying to let my life flow not forcing anything but also not hindering what's coming up for me and learning to just deal with it and sit with it there is something so revolutionary about us not choosing habitual responses to things there is something so brilliant and beautiful about us choosing to be curious over being judgmental and my spiritual journey has evolved so much in just one month with mercury retrograde i feel like it was giving me a lesson but in a sped up way i don't know if you guys have ever been in like summer school but it's like you learning an entire semester worth of knowledge in like a few short weeks and that's how this lesson of expansion has been brought to me and speaking of expansion i told you guys in my last video that if you waited till this video i would be back with some exciting news and what you guys didn't know is that i was planning on moving out this year my word was expansion and i just knew it meant that god was going to enlarge my territory and give me my own place and that so many great things were going to come to me through that journey but little did i know that god wanted to expand my mental capacity and enlarge my my sense of being and knowing deeply who I am and so it has been quite a whirlwind if you will but this idea of expansion has taught me so much you cannot base how you measure your growth on your feelings because sometimes you don't feel like you're making as much progress as you really are and I have to sometimes just sit with myself and be like wow dear like you're doing a really great job even if you don't get to measure it by the norm by the world standards girl you're doing so much internal work that people your age you know years ago probably hadn't even scratched the surface of and so I'm just learning to give myself credit and so I'm getting back to that place of having that deep sense of knowing and grounding like girl you're incredible and um, not from a cocky stance but just like that spiritual authority that royalty type of energy um, that warrior spirit girl you know you're I was telling one of my uh, life coaches if you will she's more like a spiritual mom for me but she and I were having a conversation and I was like I may be just above 100 pounds but I'm weighty like I carry so much weight so much depth like there is so much in me and one of my I am statements is I am a wellspring of wisdom I have so much to say and a lot of that comes from me taking the time to pour into myself right and me becoming more authentic and true to my vibration and who I've been called to be since before I was even born so expansion has expanded me spiritually mentally I cannot wait to see how I expand in the physical world and I hope truly I hope that it's a reflection of how much work I've been doing spiritually because I think it's gonna blow the lid off anything I could ever dream, think of, or imagine. I am sitting here in my car. It's February 9th, parked out front of a new development 
where they're building new homes. And I don't know if any of you guys can relate to this, but my personal family doesn't own a home. And my mom and I are actually just, you know, putting things out there and trying to learn more about the home buying process and just trying to educate ourselves on ownership. And so I'm just out here really manifesting and just trusting and believing that one day we will own a home. Yeah, I just came out here to really just envision what it would be like it is again february 9th we're right in the middle of mercury retrograde and i'm just trying to communicate clearly to the universe that i desire to have a home for the moment i'm just trusting the journey as i always say you guys already know i've been writing in my journal and just really scripting and writing out every detail of what i want things to look like I want south facing windows, I want a balcony, I want such huge airy space to like enjoy to lay out and you know exercise or do yoga and I would love to have like open shelving in the kitchen to display dishes and I want to make a house a home so 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 deeply and I just have a desire for more stability in my world. We're in the middle of Mercury retrograde and I've seen how much it can affect your communication and your ability to connect with others. And so I've been being very intentional the last few weeks of just mentally staying in a place of contentment and fighting for my freedom of mind and freedom of thought. Like no matter what things look like, I know that the possibility for a positive outcome is still there. And so it's been super duper challenging, but I'm hopeful. Such a trying time, but I'm learning to be more comfortable with the discomfort and sitting with my dis-ease instead of trying to like maneuver around it and looking at life from a, perspe a perspective of what can I learn here? You know, when things happen, I'm not looking at it like, why is this happening to me? I'm digging deeper. I'm like, what am I meant to learn from this? And is this a reflection of me? What in what in me is attracting this? And how do I work through that to change it? Don't get me wrong, I'm still human. So I have my moments, especially with the moon and cancer right now. Whew, I laid in my bed all day. But again, that goes back to seeing where things go. I'm not going to force, I'm not going to... Um, push my way through anything I'm going to literally sit down and let my life unfold and keep contributing to the goodness in the world so yeah that's that's the news that I really wanted to share with you guys about moving but sadly not sadly it didn't work out I also learned a lot about not rushing things before I signed the lease something told me see the see the actual unit that you'll be living in before you you know put your name on a 12 month lease and lo and behold I had fell in love with the model everything was perfect but when I got to the actual unit that I would be in it was a lot different than what I had anticipated and that that was a reflection of my life like sometimes you get in the midst of things and you think it's going to be so um you think it's going to be one thing but then it turns out to be another and that can be positive and negative it doesn't always have to be that things turn out worse sometimes they can turn out greater than you ever imagined but it taught me that i can say no to things that don't sit well with me even if i've already invested in them and it gives me permission to allow others to do the same um but yeah it was just it was a a frustrating process but i worked through it and i know that now being on the other side of it that it was the right decision for me not to go with it and to just be patient it was definitely a lesson of patience and just trusting the process trusting the journey so let's talk about how this month has also taught me so much about relationships and how god will meet you right where you are i got to reconnect with my dad this month guys I just left lunch with my dad if you've been around my channel for any um, length of time you know that I didn't grow up with my dad and so having lunch with him today was so nice and I think it's really 
it's really beautiful because it's a reminder that God sees me and that he knows exactly what I need in it, in the moments that I'm in, in the place in my life that I'm at. And so bringing my dad back into my world at, as an adult um, and being able to talk to him about, you know, spiritual things, about relationships, about zodiac signs, astrology. Like my dad, literally his mind is so open, so vast, so intellectual and yeah, we talked about wealth. We were talking about investing. We just were jumping around for so many topics. And it's beautiful because now I can see why I am the way that I am. Like, I see what qualities and attributes come from him and um, from his bloodline. And, yeah, we're talking about leaving legacy and whew, just so many incredible topics. And I just feel so grateful for moments like this. You know, I had to reconnect with my niece. Uh-oh. I got to talk to my granny. Granny, I love your spirit. You just so tenacious. I just feel like I really feel like you're immortal, Granny. Like I just picture you being here with us forever and ever and ever. Huh? Like y'all, I just have reconnected with some people in my world that for so long since I lived away, I didn't really get a chance to, you know, spend time with and those relationships have surfaced in such a beautiful way, in such a timely way, and it's given me a chance to explore those relationships deeper. And I think sometimes when we want romantic love, it doesn't always come when we feel it should. But I think God, the universe, source, always has a way to remind you that love is all around you. And today, even as I was just relaxing, I'm like, I am love. Like, I am so full of love and I have so much to give. And when I sit with that, it illuminates my entire being. Like, I have no sense of loneliness. I have no sense of lack. I just know that there is love and it's present and it's within me. It dwells within me. It dwells amongst me and all the people that I care about. It's a reflection, right? I think God is just teaching me to be content. Learning to have control over my feelings and my emotions and not allowing them to get me to respond or react in a way that's habitual. Choosing a curious and creative reaction or response to things and looking at problems as challenges and knowing that I could do hard things and that my life is always working out. Things are always working out for my good. And so, yeah, guys, I've had this month to just honestly play the background and support people that I care about. My aunt had her amazing art show, and I just got to be there in her corner. We are at Tap That Downtown, and I am at my friend Mayotte's art show. Guys, look at these beautiful prints. This is a new one I hadn't seen yet. So gorgeous. Some abstract paintings. Oh, so many gorgeous prints and she even has them available for purchase so you guys know I will leave the link down in the description or in the top comment so you guys can shop her beautiful artwork Today is the day where Maya is getting her art placed in the window display at West Elm. I'm having such a proud friend moment. I could not be more excited. We're at this little like plaza on Camelback and Central and it has so many cute little spots. I love AJ's. Um, I've been in this little shop, Local Nomad, adorable, lots of little trinkets and notebooks and sage and incense and uh, so many goodies, lots of food spots. Um, and then down there, I think they have a Shake Shack. Oh, and Flower Child. Oh, literally all the gins are like in this area. 
um and if you're new to my channel you know that i or if you're an og to my channel you guys know i used to work at a church we used to come over here all the time and hang out but it's evolved so much since i lived here um when was that in 2016 wow what a full circle moment to come back to places that are used to you know frequent and see it completely evolve and that's how i am i've i've come back to this place and people have seen me and i'm so much different than who they knew me to be when i first you know met them or when they saw me back when i used to live here so that came out very jumbled but i i bet you guys get the gist of what i'm saying anyway my yacht's getting ready to start the display Ma, you want to say hi? Yes, hi. Guys, I'm so dang excited for her. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to be a good freaking day. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so great. You ready? I'm so blessed. Yes. Oh, I love you so much. Yeah, I love you too, friend. Oh. All right, y'all, let me get to work. I will check in later. Okay. Oh, yes. That was cute. Black girl joy. We're out here at the Ribe. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> yes, this is the Uptown Plaza in Phoenix, Arizona. If you guys are around, come show my beautiful friend some love. And um, she will have postcards available for purchase. So if you're just stopping by and you're on your life's journey, you can pick up some postcards to send home or whatever. Like so the relationships that I have are elevating. Like I didn't grow up with a bunch of friends as a kid. Like I always felt like I had people around me, but people who didn't really know me or, you know, relate with me. Um, and so to have like genuine friendships as an adult is so solid, so game changing. And it really allows me to just play a part in someone's life that doesn't want anything from me. You know, they just, they love me for me. And I'm so grateful for that because I've been in places where I have been used, you know, and I have been taken it for granted and advantage of. And so to just be around people who care about me unconditionally and allow me to reflect that back to them and be present with them in ways, you know, and be vulnerable <laughs> with them in ways I haven't been before is really, really beautiful. So this month has been full of just adventure but in such a spiritual sense an adventure in my mind an adventure in my close relationships and i'm like i'm never gonna get tired of exploring my love for travel is really a reflection of my passion for journeying like i want to journey through life and i want to meet everyone i'm supposed to meet i want to do everything i'm supposed to do and I think that only comes when you really are seated in your soul, when you really have a deep sense of knowing who you are and what you're called to do and you start making decisions surrounding those things and not making decisions based on your feelings and learning to create less karma, learning to just honestly be present in the now and be so in tune and so intuitive that you just make sound decisions. I want to make more art. I want to make art. I don't just want to make videos. I want to make things that pour from my spirit. And the only way that I can do that is by filling myself up. And so that's what I've been doing. Pouring into myself so that I can pour into you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It has been so great to just sit in front of this camera again. And chat like we're by campfire. And <laughs> enjoying s'mores and hot cocoa. I hope you guys are all staying safe and that your lives are flourishing in ways that you could only dream of. I really just pray for more prosperity and abundance and love and forgiveness and wholeness because we all can do the work, but sometimes we just need a little grace to get us going and get us through the dry and tough season. So again, thank you guys for being here with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye.